Hello, I'm Daphne Tilson. I live in Laverne, Tennessee, and I go to Stewart's Creek High School in Smyrna, Tennessee. I'm in 10th grade, and I've taken Art 1 in Digital Mixed Media, and I'm currently enrolled in Drawing and Painting. I've attended a few Saturdays at Todd workshops at M2SU, and I've also taken an art camp by Murfreesboro Art League. The first piece I want to show you today is a still life I did in freshman year, and it was my first time really doing like a lot of layering with acrylic. Um, it's 24 by 18, and I was given an award of merit at the Rutherford County and Murfreesboro City Schools Art Showcase. The next project is a nature project. This was assigned by my teacher in digital and mixed media, and is made with watercolor, colored pencils, and water marble paper. It is 18 by 19. 18 by 9, I'm sorry, 18 by 9. Um, the next thing was also for digital mixed media. It is a series of linoleum prints. Um, we use block printing ink, and each print is eight and a half by 11. This one is my favorite. I also have the linoleum that I used. My next uh, piece is a portrait I did recently. It was just for myself. It was for practice to experiment with color and shadow. And it's acrylic paint on cardboard. I think there's some gel pens actually. There's some gel pens too. And then it's 28 by 26 inches. <laughs> My next thing is a line drawing. It's a line drawing, um, pencil drawing I'm doing it for a still life I'm working on. It's nine by six inches and this is also in a sketchbook I binded myself. It was really fun to make. Um, my next piece is a mixed media triptych. Um, it's titled Electric Avenue. It's mostly collage and like it was inspired by a pop-up book style. It's like dimensional and it draws people with like the focal point. It's hard to tell from back here so I'll pick some of it up but I use materials such as like carnival tickets and like scratch off paper and I love that you can like kind of see like the dimensional like pieces popping out of the page it's really fun um it is 26 by 11 and then outwards like this way it's three and a half tall my next piece is um painting? It's a watercolor painting. Mostly watercolor. It's also like mixed media called Warp Perspective. It was for an assignment to do one or two point perspective. I decided to do five point perspective. It was very interesting to learn how because it's kind of warped and it's like I almost broke perspective. Um, it's watercolor mostly but there's also pen and acrylic and I don't know there's a lot there's a lot of stuff in there and then 16 by 16 is the size of inches. Finally, I want to show my sketches. Um, all of these are like in different types of materials, mostly like pencil and pen. Um, but this is actually oil pastels. This is a final for um, my class right before winter break, and the problem was creative. Um, this is me like throwing clay and like gluing stuff. And then this is me and my friend right before winter break. And then I did this hand that I'm actually really proud of. There's also another page in here that I think is really interesting. This was from fall break. I went to the Denver Zoo, or no, the Denver Aquarium, but they had like zoo animals in there too. Um, and there's little, there's little uh, jellyfish. And I was like, I have got to draw those because those are so cute. And there's me. And then there's me and some pencil, uh, pen drawings. I love drawing a ballpoint pen. It's like really nice to not be able to erase. That sounds weird, but it's like fun to like have to hide your mistakes. I don't know. And then I also have, this, um, it's kind of a work in progress, but it's um, a self-portrait. I started it in summer. It's uh, done like right now in color pencil. And I don't know, I liked it. I've also got some architecture type like sketches. Both of these were for school projects. This one was actually for my triptych. And this was for a project I did with my friend. I liked math, like working out all the math, like and um, figuring out like the, I don't know, like it, it was really fun to do. 
I would like really, I would <laughs> feel like going to governor's school would be amazing because it could be an opportunity to like improve my art and develop my skills, but also meeting other artists my age is like really inspiring. And I love creating art and I would like to try as many new things as I can. I'm trying to try like every form of art ever. Um, my name is Daphne Tilson and I hope to experience governor's school this, this summer. <laughs>